But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Is he joking or is he a psychopath? That's what a lot of people are asking about Hex Haywire. Akio Air is finally closing and a lot of other news that I wanted you to see today on this episode. First, I would like to give a little bit of background on the whole issue. Uh, Vanta and Hex both did a Stardew Valley stream where they were collabing with each other. Stardew Valley is a collaborative type of thing if you want it to be. It was about three days ago as of the recording of this video. And Vanta asked Hex a question and Hex decided to go full on uh, different when it's, with his answer. And I will give my full opinion after this. Let's first get the full context of the issue. You ever, you ever like, you ever like gotten, gotten a message or like a call from like somebody that you knew like years ago? And like, yeah, yeah. you just, you know, you, you don't really talk to him anymore. Maybe even mm -hmm. possibly thought the bridge was burned, but then they message yeah, you again, yeah. like checking, checking on you to see if you're okay. Like, mm -hmm. like, is it bad to ignore them? A legitimate question. No, I don't think so. Okay. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think okay. that's fine. Honestly, they, they, would, they called me and then and then they texted me because they still have my number. Oh, shit. I think that's fine. I feel like it depends on your mental. You know what I mean? If you're not prepared, sometimes friendships are just they're they're not always meant to last. Um, and I, I don't think you're being disrespectful by not um, doing that, especially if your mental is in a place where you're not ready to talk to them. You might never be, but I think that's okay. You know, that's not bad. This is not where the bad stuff starts. I, you know, I'd say it also depends too. But I think, I think, I think you're you're all right, buddy. Okay. Well, I, yeah. J just just to let, let Chad know too, I don't think the bridge was burned because of anything that particularly happened. I just convinced myself that the bridge was burned because mm. I, I, I'm I, I'm an overthinker chronic overthinker mm. yeah that's pretty much all it is that. that's innocent enough of course like one time my friend's grandpa died and i used his friend's at like his grandpa's ashes to like plant you know like a seed and i kind of just messed around with it i destroyed the little pot that look at vance's came. reaction look at vance's reaction but I that's legit i didn't think it was that bad and he threw he was like angry at me and everything <laughs> i was like why? why are you angry at me buddy like it's just your grandpa's ashes so yeah people can be mad sensitive you know what i mean and like one other time like like my friend's goldfish annoyed the fuck out of me, so like I, I wanted to see if it could swim up current the toilet, and he was like pissy about it too. Something about like that was a family pet for five years, kind of bullshit. People can be sensitive as hell, bro. Don't don't mind it. Anyways, what are we doing today, buddy? And there we go. Like Vanta is it, it this is legit um, silence. Uh, you would clean up the rest of the, the rest of Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but <laughs> I think that sounds like an uncomfortable laugh, in my opinion. <laughs> this is this is this this is the, the third time you've done this, you know, all this all this shit. <laughs> Bro, but have you ever thought like wondered if like a goldfish can swim up current the toilet? You know, because everyone flushes a dead goldfish, but what about a live one? You know? Okay. You think he can fight the current? <laughs> Alright, that's where I'm gonna leave it. And I'm going to let you guys know what I think. And uh, what I think is definitely tied to what these people are saying over here. Um, basically, like people are mentioning the, that the other guy was standing there, shock silence as he just rattles through the sociopath starter kit kind of says a lot. I'm seeing from other comments that people are claiming it's dark comedy. Maybe. I don't have the context here, but it would be a very dark humor. But as someone who enjoys dark comedy, there's a time and place. A VTuber doing a Stardew Valley collab probably shouldn't make as an example dead baby jokes or dead anything jokes or dead grandpa jokes or anything like that. In my opinion, I agree. Making that joke with someone on a live stream where you know that are going to challenge you for making it, they're not going to challenge you for making it, is a disrespect in its own right. I feel like they were making dead, dead jokes and uh, would still have more class than this. The joke itself is a sociopathic move. It, some people were saying, some people were telling me that I should cover this because... 
um, just kind of is almost like a power move. It's like I can say these things on your stream. I can say these things to you. I can say these things on a live stream and no one's going to challenge me because, you know, I'm supposedly the edgy guy. That's how I'm going to excuse it. I've had friends that were like that, that were a little too edgy, that were saying those types of things, made me uncomfortable, and I never challenged them. Uh, so that might be a, a situation that Vanta's in. I can't really say because of, you know, I don't know Vanta. I haven't watched Vanta very much, but it just really hits me the wrong way. Um, because like this person says, he's asking Hex for his advice with respect to friendship. Friend reached out to Vanta. He thought a bridge was burned. Vanta's unsure if he should uh, ignore the person. Hex thinks it's all right to ignore the person. He was, he was all right at this point. And some friendships weren't always meant to list to last. Vanta clarifies he's a chronic overthinker. Hex says he's an overthinker with agreeing with Vanta. Then he starts his story at 4414. In conclusion, the context and judging the tone of the conversation in full, uh, it seems like Hex was not joking because uh, it seemed more like he was putting an example of how maybe bridges can actually be burned uh, using himself as that example. And even as dark comedy, this has no place in a stream. This has no place in something like that where there was no dark comedy before. If this was a full on dark comedy stream and they were making jokes like this the whole freaking time, you know, all throughout like the 44 minutes before this. I'd be like, all right, you know, that makes sense. Maybe there was all dark comedy the whole time. But this dude was popping this dark comedy right after someone asked a legitimate question, which was Vanta in this case, a legitimate question on whether he should answer a friend or not. This, like I said, seems more like maybe a power play, maybe a power move that, oh, oh, you think that uh, it was that bad. This is bad. Still, it does not seem very normal, in my opinion. It doesn't seem like a normal process of thinking. Oh, this person's asking about this, so let me give him the worst possible situation. I've never thought that way, and the people around me don't think that way. Uh, if you are a hex apologist, more power to you, but I seriously don't think this was ever a good idea, and it never will be a good idea, in my opinion. And here is a little bit more. He says he's kind of known for being edgy and saying things cut close to the bone. Didn't he have some problems with Zion's edgy jokes? And that's the thing. He's also acting like a hypocrite. Suppose he had issues with Zion in particular with her edgy jokes. Yes, Zion also went too far with some of the jokes that she made. And I criticized for that situation. The jokes may have gone too far. That was, I think, good criticism on that part. But for someone who criticized someone else for their edgy jokes to make a joke that would also offend a lot of people, especially people with loved ones who passed away, desecrating of human remains, which is illegal in a lot of places, and also what a lot of people would consider animal cruelty, by putting a live goldfish into the sewer system and the septic system and flushing them down the toilet just to see if you, they could swim up a stream also doesn't ring to me as just edgy. And he should understand that if he's going to have a position where he is against edgy stuff, he should not go and say ed things that would be even more edgy or just around the same level as edgy. Oh, we know he's joking. The problem is the joke is horrible and one of the dudes should know better that th that in this current climate, Nidhi Sanjian's brand is already on fire and him trying to do such an edgy try hard joke will just be pouring fuel into the fire. He's either an actual psycho or he's really dumb and a try hard. I will probably go just to be safe on the really dumb and a try hard thing. Still, being a personality, like a personality with uh, a large organization like Nidhi Sanji, you shouldn't be making jokes like this. You are the face of that corporation and you are the P using the PR of that corporation. Pretty much you are the personal face of a corporation, even though that shouldn't be a responsibility of people, but you should know no matter what you think about it, you are the face of that organization when you say these things and it will be used against that organization, especially when it's a dumpster fire right now. We hope he's joking at census rate. I don't know. There aren't such much of a positive vibe from the whole group for me to take things seriously. I will just give it, you know, a grain of salt and say that it is uh, joking, but it is a horrible joke. It's disrespectful for people who lost family, disrespectful for people who enjoy, uh, you know, fish and enjoy having pets. That is just my opinion, of course. Uh, one of the few times I'm very opinionated about something, and uh, I will leave the rest up to you and what you think in that regard. And we move on to Accio Air, the very embattled corporation, a VTuber Corp, that has had a lot a lot of bad news come out about them recently and i will go over it a little bit just a little bit of uh, a refresher nofi nophilia uh wawa 
was a minor that they had under Akio Air. They were going to be asking her to do NSFW things, if I recall correctly. A lot of things that pretty much anywhere else would not fly. It was not good. They, they of course, once she mentioned all that kind of stuff and everyone else got angry, they threatened lawsuits. They threatened legal action. They were uh, harassing. They were mentally um, mistreating people. They were bullying. They were doing all these things, as also mentioned here. Um, this was something that they tried to do to cover their butts when it came to Nofi's stuff. Uh, according to what Nofi said, you know, she was uh, told that the gen mates would be made aware of it uh, prior to them signing any contracts. And then it ended up being, you know, that she was responsible for it. Just bad stuff going all around. Having a minor in your industry, in your organization, is not something new. Hololive did it, but there's a certain way of doing it. Everyone knows about it. It was during the early days. There's just like, I think Hachama also was a uh, high school girl. But uh, it's different the way that Akio Air did it because they did it with bad management. They did it with uh, harassment, with threats of lawsuit, threats of destroying a person's livelihood. Like right here with um, Athena Nightingale when she left Akio Air. She mentioned that there was a lot of negative things happening here. Uh, there was emotional manipulation and it didn't stop there. The CEO was hostile and threatened the livelihood of her nurse. And when he resisted the demands, he pretended to be the savior. He said he's just trying to save me from the legal department. You know, that kind of stuff is not good. It already did not bode very well. The goodwill of the community was already gone. The goodwill of the community had dropped to a level never seen before, before the Niji Sanji thing, of course, because this was about six months ago when this stuff was happening. It was way before the Niji Sanji thing currently happened. It was uh, pretty much a harbinger of bad things for Akio Air. And that leads us to today, the announcement of closure of Akio Air. Let's get a closer look at what it says. And let's take a look. It says announcement of closure. This notice is intended to inform you that Akio Air will cease its operations as a VTuber agency effective immediately. So it's not like at the end of the month. It's not anything like that. It's as of to yesterday at 10.16 p.m. my local time. As you can see there, as of 10.16 p.m. last night, Akio Air is no longer an organization for VTubers. It is no longer a corporation for VTubers. It is gone and done. This decision was not made lightly. We understood that the public sentiment may not be the most favorable towards us. And to this day, many may still hold negative views against us. Of course, once all of your talents, pretty much all of your former talents are saying the same thing, we're going to have negative thoughts. If it were just one talent, we'd be like, oh, you know, it's an isolated incident. If those two talents, it looks like it's going to be a little bit more of something on your end. If it's all of your talents, then definitely there's something bad going on there. And no matter how much you want to use your legal department to protect you, it shows really bad for you, for everybody uh, to do it. It's a systemic issue when everybody goes and does it now, when everybody says the same things, when everybody backs each other up, it is a systemic issue for you. It is not any longer just people trying to badmouth you. Despite the lack of response, we sincerely have taken your criticism to heart. Unfortunately, our investors have decided to pull out as the investment environment has been deemed too hostile against business owners and the return on investment has yet to meet their expectations. So they got schooled. They thought they were going to be able to ride out the storm. They thought that they were going to be able to just be fine with everything, mistreating their talents, getting all this negative publicity. If they just stayed quiet, they felt that everything was going to go back to normal. But investors are skittish. Investors will leave you at the drop of a hat if things don't seem fine for them, if they're not going to be making a return on investment, if there's not going to be anything positive for them, they are going to knock you down as they just learned right here. I'm glad that investors left because this type of toxic environment, like I said, everybody was saying it was a toxic environment. Everybody who was a liver from them was pretty much saying the same thing, especially the ones that left. Like I said, if it was one person, it'd be like, okay, maybe there's a personal issue there. If it's two people, it's like, this is, this looks like it's going to be, um, you know, something systemic. If it's all people, then it's definitely something wrong. As of this announcement, we have used our best efforts to finalize any outstanding matters, liquidated, unused, and discarded digital assets, provide mutual closure to any unresolved issues and business relationships, and completely transferred all rights to the respective parties in good standing. So anyone who is uh, still a VTuber with them, they anyone who hasn't left maybe they're on hiatus etc good standing means that they had no complaints with them etc they kept their uh, ips their ips were transferred to them uh it doesn't excuse anything that they've done they're doing this just to try to at least leave with a positive face in my opinion and that's you know a lot of companies do that but in this case it's you're a dumpster fire uh if you do one good thing it doesn't 
In this case, it doesn't counteract the 10 bad things you've done or 100 bad things you've done. Moving forward, our legal firm will handle any further communication unrelated to liquidation, necessary legal actions, and unresolved disputes. We may, however, directly reply to any interest in our assets liquidation. Please contact Accio Air for further inquiries. We thank you once again for your support. So that is that is basically them saying that they're still going to be suing anybody that they were thinking of suing before, the former talents, uh, you know, anyone who had previously left, any of these talents that previously left, like uh, Athena, Nightingale, Nofi, anybody that previously left that's making any kind of negative, you know, pushes towards them are going to be dealt with, it looks like. As right here, uh, someone was like, false ID, given false ID an award. So, it, false ID said it. False ID is giving himself an award for this. Um, they're still going to pursue necessary legal action against talents. Jesus, man, Nosaki says. Another person says, entire company torpedoed because they wanted to hire a minor. That's where it all started. And then they became abusive towards other people who had a problem with that. They threatened legal action towards people who, who had issues with that minor being there. Of course, people are going to have issues with the minor because you, you have to really, 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 really control what you're saying. Uh, some of the things that you want to do, like if you want to do any NSFW thing, LewTuber, etc., anything adult related, even if it's not adult content, you are going to have an issue there. It says, at long last, it's finally over. Last tweet of the night from Rima Evanstar, Akio Air has officially dissolved activities and are now in the process of liquidating final assets and finalizing settlements of any outstanding matters. Uh, w's in the chat. When a business closes for good, they are required to liquidate all assets. That There may or may not be some good, amazing girls out there that deserve to get their models back. D is very excited to become a giant woman, though. So D will not be reaching out to purchase. So D wants to become a giant woman. So that's fine. G D will not be purchasing anything. Uh, my guess is D is, may have been a, a former girl there. I'm not sure. Uh, Skuma, you were waiting for everyone to forget about the drama, but no one did. And then the, the investors ended up pulling the plug. Good riddance. Absolutely. It, organizations like this should not exist. Organizations like this should not be allowed to flourish at all. And I'm glad that they're gone. Uh, I feel bad for anybody who is still working with them and expecting good things. But at the very least, they get to keep whatever IPs they have and they can continue on their hard fought journey to become bigger VTubers. Dude, it's been eight months. I'm pretty sure all your investors dropped you the minute all the talents left. Yeah, they're probably hoping for more investment. They were probably trying to pull, get some investors in and there's probably nothing, nothing going on. So that's all I have to say about Akio Air. Uh, thank you for listening, of course. And remember, this is just an opinion on this little squirrel's mind. Uh, a lot of people do agree with my opinion, I think, but it is still just an opinion. And, a, you know, comment down below if you want to change uh, my opinion or you want to just have a different opinion or agree or whatever it is. I appreciate you. And finally, one of the talents, I believe this is the final one of the ones that are graduating currently, uh, that was mistreated by V Reverie in the sense that she wasn't allowed to have her graduation notice before they put out their graduation notice. If you remember what happened, uh, V Reverie put out the graduation notice of Akiko, Yana, and uh, Lilri, I believe, as well. Uh, all three of them were graduating. All three of them decided to graduate. And in general, it is good manners, good etiquette in the VTuber community to allow the talent to make their decision and to actually put out their graduation notice first. And then either that or do it at the same time or do it maybe a little bit staggered by an hour, something like that. But they just decided to put it out and, you know, just forget about it on the... Uh, Akiko Sushi part, she was like, well, I guess I'm I'm not going to be making my graduation uh, the announcement stream. I guess we're just going to be chatting tonight or something like that. She she was just she was devastated by that because to be told by the organization and not by the VTuber, some people can take offense to that. Some people could see it as like, oh, you didn't care enough about us, but she actually did care enough about her community and wanted to let them know about what was going on. But the company being kind of another one of those red flag companies decided they wanted to jump the gun and do it for her. Well, she's finally graduating and she's going to be moving on to another place, a better place for her, somewhere where she has full control over everything that she does. That's my assumption. If she's going to go to her past life account or go to another VTuber account that's indie, she's going to be in a better place. Anyone who is her fan, I deeply feel sorry for the fact that she had to graduate. But remember, usually in these cases with a company that has so many red flags, the graduation means that they're going to be in a better place. Once again, this was a very opinionated episode. Comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. Let me know if you agree with my opinions or disagree with my opinions. I do not mind constructive criticism. 
I welcome it, and I also welcome good discourse. Of course, respectful discourse is what it's allowed. Down below, I have my socials as well. It's my Discord. It's a nice, comfy place for you guys to hang out, game together, chat together, uh, vent any of your issues that you may have that you just want to let go of. And as well, there is a video in front of you that you may enjoy, and I hope you get to watch it and uh, let me know about that one too. Appreciate you. Have a wonderful day, and please take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.